I've had a couple of requests of what my daily vision routine is. So in this video, I'm going to share with you what I do day in, day out for the good of my eyes. Gem and I am an end myopia student. If you haven't heard of end myopia, it is a method of natural vision improvement that is based on science and is helping me get back to 2020 vision and life without glasses. If you want to know more about end myopia, I will link some information below. So, my daily vision routine. Here we go. First thing that happens is my alarm goes off in the morning and you know it's kind of hard to get out of bed sometimes because you're tired so I find it's really helpful if you just reach for your phone and have a look through Facebook or Instagram or the news just scroll through for a while the light like hits your eyes and really wakes you up after I've done that for about ooh, easily an hour sometimes then I will get up and either race to work because I've used all my time for getting ready by being on my phone or if I don't have to go to work, I'll get up and I'll make myself some breakfast. And while I'm waiting for the kettle to boil, I'll probably just have a quick look at what's going on through my phone. Keep catching up with the news of the day. Once I've got my breakfast, I'll head over to my computer and I'll have my breakfast while on my computer. Then whether I'm at work or whether I'm at home, I'll probably spend hours and hours and hours just staring at that computer screen with no breaks, either working really hard or watching YouTube really hard until eventually either I come home from work or I feel like it's evening, I should really do something different, so get some dinner or something. Then for the evening, I'll settle into my chair and watch some Netflix on my computer while simultaneously chatting with some of my friends on Messenger via my phone. Then I finish off the day by hopping back into bed and having a little scroll through just to recap the day, find out before I go to bed if anything else has happened in anyone else's life that I really need to know about. And you know, depending what day it is, like this could last for hours, easily. All right, what? Okay, so obviously this isn't my actual daily vision routine. Although I must admit it's probably not so different from what my daily vision habits used to be. I was easily, easily getting six hours of screen use on my phone, working at my job, which sometimes could be very screen heavy on my computer. So really it's no wonder that my eyesight went bad. And I reckon as ridiculous and extreme as my example sounds, there's plenty of people living like this still. But let me tell you now what my actual vision routine looks like. Like routine, it's a interesting choice of word. It's not actually the word I would choose, but it's what I've been asked. So here you go. This is how my eyes spend their day. By the way, thanks everyone who likes my videos like every time. If you wanna like it right now even, just to help me out, that'd be great. It lets the algorithm know that this content is worth watching. So I wake up in the morning and I resist any temptation to check my phone. At the moment I am using my smartphone again and I have got into the very bad habit of charging it next to my bed, both very bad. I'm using my smartphone again just because of lockdown. And I go and make my breakfast and instead of checking my phone while I wait for the kettle to boil, I'm actually doing small odd jobs like unstacking the dishwasher or wiping down the stove or something like that. Then for my breakfast, as with all my meals, I make that distance time. So I've been sitting in front of my windows with the doors open if the weather's good enough, listening to an audiobook while I eat my food and actively focus on objects outside in the world. So this means time for some more distance vision and another chapter of my book. Now I am still working, although I'm working primarily from home at the moment, so I do need to use the computer. I do need to turn that on and sit in front of that over the course of a day. But the difference is I don't get lost on it for hours and hours and hours without taking any breaks. I make sure I take breaks. Now is the bell. Time for me to take a break. 
I'm taking breaks every 20 minutes where I come over to my windows here and I stare at things across the road and around for about a minute or so, like just until my eyes feel happy again. And I make sure at some point over the course of a day, I get outside, I go for a walk. A minimum amount of time that I've been spending going for walks lately is one hour, which is two laps of the block. But when I'm not pressed for time and the weather is not too off-putting, I mean like I'll do the two laps around the block even if it's raining, but if the weather's quite nice then I'll do a longer walk and take three hours walking quite far down the road and then quite far back. Three hours walking outside seems like a lot and yeah it's a lot but it it's like just that amount that suddenly makes me feel like I'm not just popping out for a walk. It makes me feel as if I'm actually spending a portion of my life being outside. But you know what? It was weird because I haven't really had that feeling since I was a kid and I did play outside. I mean, kids these days, kids these days, how old am I? Probably won't have those same feelings say if they spend that much time on screens but I definitely remember the feeling of outside is the fun place and it kind of recaptures some of that for me so it's not a chore I'm really enjoying it and I listen to audiobooks or podcasts while I walk it just keeps me feeling productive because I'm a bit obsessed with being productive it also means the way some people devour a lot of television I'm not really any better, I'm just making the media that I'm consuming mainly audio, not visual. And then yeah, in the evening I probably will watch a couple of episodes of something, but I'm trying to set myself up quite far away from the TV so it's not too close. If I have to go on the computer in the evening, then I will still do my distance vision, I'll just do it inside. I'll look at my Snellen chart, which is about 20 feet or 6 meters away from me. Um, I'm lucky I have a really big room where I can put that. You might need to put it in your hallway or something, some space where there's a length. Another thing that I do for my vision routine is I try and drink at least one litre of water every day, which I've spoken about before. Our eyes are squishy and made out of liquidiness, so our bodies definitely need like hydration to keep everything working nicely there. I also am currently not using my heating because it dries out my eyes. I can tell that makes it harder for me to focus. So I'm currently wrapping myself in blankets when I get cold. Although I've had some really great tips about getting a humidifier or different kinds of heaters that don't dry out the air as much. So I'll look into that when I get desperate. Another thing that I do for my dry eyes is that every evening after I've like cleansed my face, I make a face wash up really hot, like steaming hot water, and then I put it on my eyes. Like don't, not so hot that it would burn me, but it still feels quite warm to hot on my eyes. And I just press it on my eyes and gently massage my eyeballs, I guess you'd say. I mean, that sounds a bit too luxurious for the actual experience, but like, it's kind of like rubbing your eyes, but gently, not with, tons of pressure or anything. This is something that my optometrist advised me to do when I went in there with incredible eye pain. Turns out like my eyes were like blocked somehow. So anyway, I have this thing that I have to do now to help, I don't even know, like melt the sebum or something in my eyelids so that it can keep lubricated. Anyway, so I do that every day and it's definitely helped. So maybe if you have dry eyes, like no harm in it, right? Might help, might not. When it's time to go to bed, I do not sit there endlessly scrolling through my phone. If I want to go to bed and do something in bed before I go to sleep, then I will read some of my book and try and do some print pushing if I can. If I haven't done any patching during the day, I might throw in a little bit here. For more about patching and what that is and how useful that is, I will link one of Jake Steiner's videos down below so you can find out more about it from him, not from me. Or if my chap's in bed already, we might like just, just chat for a while, screen free. Not only good for my eyes, good for our relationship and a nice way to wind down at the end of the day. And then wash, rinse, repeat. We start again. So things like breaks from your computer, some time outdoors, not overusing your phone screen, like especially not when you're in bed, drinking water, like these are my vision habits. That's it. And I haven't really mentioned active focus, like how much do I do active focus? Some people spend 
a certain amount of time like very intentionally doing active focus. Yes, I do active focus very intentionally when I'm having my meals and looking out the window. I'm trying to do active focus very intentionally every single time I have a break from my computer. I'm doing active focus intentionally whenever I go for my walks. I'm doing active focus very intentionally whenever I'm reading a screen. So actually like I don't have a certain amount of hours I do active focus a day. Just every time it comes into my head, I just make sure I'm doing it. I've said elsewhere, it's like if you're trying to have better posture, you don't just stand up straight for two hours a day. You stand up straight every single time you think of it. So as far as a vision routine goes, I'm not sure that I would really call this a vision routine, but you know, if that's what people want to know what my vision routine is, like this is it. But it's much more like vision habit and that's the beauty of end myopia it's not a bunch of exercises you have to remember to do you have to put the time aside to do it's just building better eye habits into your life especially if your life sounds a lot more like my first description of a vision routine and as you do it you get like more in tune with how your eyes are feeling you know when they're feeling tense or stressed and strained and you're able to adjust moment to moment this isn't feeling comfortable I'll change that. Whereas before I started in myopia, I had no idea when my eyes felt uncomfortable. I wouldn't have really been paying enough attention to pick up on it. I wouldn't have known what the feelings were. So I'm much more in tune with my eyes in general. And I guess that's part of the vision routine. It's not really much of a routine. It's just learning to treat your eyes better every single day, every single minute. And if you realize that you've forgotten to do any of these things, just fixing it not not freaking out about it just getting on with doing it better in the next moment as always if you liked this video could you like this video and remember to subscribe over there and hit the little bell button to get notifications when i post which is every single week please do feel free to leave a comment i try and respond to all of them that's it for me i'll see you next thursday bye so i've had a couple i don't want to start with so so i won't Okay, what am I saying? I've got no idea. I don't remember the rest of my spiel. Where's my book? Should be around here somewhere. What else? What else? Oh. Only in that room? Oh no, I'm curious. Cool. I'm still filming. Oh. <laughs> it's on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, now you need glasses. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Enjoy your sunscreen. Audio? Is that a word? Au au audio. Au audio? Sounds like cordial. That's relevant. Another part of my vision routine. No, no, that was wrong. <laughs> like, how much do I do? active focus. I'm doing air quotes on the wrong thing again. 